Okay, now let's get started. Uh, we're gonna do a circle, shift A, adding a circle, getting out here, and then we're gonna change some something going on here. The vertices, we're gonna do 16, that should be good. And the field type, we need to change to the triangular fan, and uh, the world, we're gonna to align to the view. So this is something that we wanted to do for this particular, and then click and tap, go into the edit mode, and to delete these vertices down here. And then I'm gonna select all these three vertices, the E and Z to drag it down here. Now we have some volume down here. And then I'm gonna select all these top part, except this center vertices, you can hit the B and middle mouse button, drag a box to deselect. E and Z to drag it up. And then stop right here, hit S, Z, zero to kind of flatten it out, okay? So now, it looks like still like a regular uh, rectangular, but it has some parts in there. So we're gonna, um, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna give you this simple plane, some volume. So hit the A to select everything else. Hit the E, Y, and just getting some volume going on here. So now, this is good. Because we see a lot of triangles, so we need to fix the typology real quick. Hit number two to select edge selection mode. We're just gonna select these edges and hit X to dissolve edges. Now, this face, everything is, is quad. So same thing over here in the back. So we can just do that real quick. Hit X, X, dissolve edges. So now everything's still in quad. And then hit number three to select the faces. So this is our, all the faces that I wanted to give in some thickness. We're gonna come down to the side view the E, Y to extrude it out. Okay, so now we, this is the shape that I want. However, uh, everything is not that smooth and uh, it not looks photorealistic because everything is super, super sharp. And uh, if I'm adding a subsurface modifier, select that, control two, everything get destroyed. Doesn't really matter if you go to the shade smooth or anything, that that's not the shape that I want. Uh, so that's something that we need to do a little bit more work to in order to fix this problem, okay? Let's do that. So then what I can do here, go to the edit mode, and then we are going to adding some uh, loop cuts or bevels, everything to making sure the, the this shape looks the best way it can possibly do. And one thing I want you guys to pay attention is this one single vertices, because this one is called the pole because it has five vertices uh, connect to it. And the other you know, points or vertices doesn't usually have like four, uh, five lines um, linked to it, but this one is. So that's why we need to pay extra attention to this. So because this one is symmetrical, uh, what I can do here, I go to the Alt Z X remote and to select this part, hit X to delete the vertices, and then I can just adding a mirror modifier to having all that ready. So I can just do one side of job to fix everything, okay? And make sure you check the clipping box in here when you do that. So next, I'm going to, to adding some bevels uh, to on the sharp edges in order to maintain the good shape of this. So, and the easiest way is to go to the edge selection mode and come down to here select to select the sharp edges okay because this one has a pole then i try to avoid some kind of like vertices that uh, will directly evolve to this so i'm just going to hit the b key and using the middle mouse button drag to deselect something directly linked to it okay so and also because we're trying to adding some edges, these are edges not the one that we want to bevel. So we're gonna deselect these as well, okay? So down here, B and uh, B. I think that is a good point to start with. Uh, and the top part, and this one can be pretty easy to fix. So I'm just want to be safe so probably oh it's okay so for the back end i also need to deselect these okay the b and the medium out button drag so that is pretty much all, uh, 
all I want. So for this part, no, definitely not. So that should be good. So what I would do here, again, I hear the control B, the bevel, okay, and then left click and come down here to change some numbers. The segment, I'm gonna change the two, and uh, for the shape, because I wanna maintain the shape, so I'm just gonna drag all the way to the one. Uh, let's see. Uh, and then what I can do here to change the middle outer to the arc, okay? So now that should be good and tap it out. And if I'm adding a subsurface modifier, you can see that the some edges on the top side is, has been maintained pretty well, okay? So then next I'm going to adding some loop cut, control R, adding a loop cut to really pushing this pole and to getting some good defined line around here. Control R, getting one more. Okay, that looks nice. Double G to kind of grab it. All right. And then I feel like this we can adding a, another loop cut in here. Hit Control R to do that. Oh, that is actually adding a whole loops cut around here. So I, that's something that I don't want to do. Uh, I'm probably just going to using a knife tool, hit K to select the one point to get here and hit enter, get, do a quick cut and then do, do K one more time, select this one, hit A key to, to go to the side view, A key and to kind of strain that, that vertical vertical line. So see, like that's a direct cut. Hit left click, enter, and then we're going to do one more. The, select that. Hit the A key. And select that. So that is a clean cut. Uh, and I think that is looks just fine. And because of this one, this is the original shape. So what I can do here uh, because we already have a box in down here, so what I can do here is basically hit B to deselect these two, hit the B, and to dissolve this this line because this line is no longer useful. It's uh, extra. And hit X to dissolve the edges. Okay, it's the same thing here. Number two, hit X to dissolve the edge. Okay, now if I'm select this, it become a uh, beautiful loops so I can double G to push it to the side so same thing here double G to push it to the side so that has been perfectly fixed okay same thing here select that double G to push up and that should be fine however in this part and all these vertices kind of like jammed in here so we need to do something going on here and also if I do shade smooth, uh, this looks too defined. And we have a couple of different problems on here. So you can see here, we have some uh, shading issues. I assuming we have the, the face in between. So let's do number three. Uh, let's go to the face selection mode. You can see we already built some faces in between. So we need to quickly delete them in order to fix this shading issue. Uh, let's do that. Select that. And I think that's everything we need. Hit X to delete faces. Okay. Now, once we delete that, oh, the shading is just gone. And then we can see we are going to adding one more subsurface level. However, you can see this is this one is pretty nice and uh, to having the sharp edges we can just do push it in however in here I don't want to just a long strip of uh, uh, edge down here so we need to fix this and then go to the vertices selection mode uh, oh because we have a lot of vertices jam them in here so what I can do select this one double G to kind of like push it up this is kind of sliding instead of like uh, moving. However, this is still pretty long simply because we have like three very 
close vertices kind of joined together. So that's why this long strip of a uh, qua to actually creating the the shading issues down here. So what I can do here, I can just adding a loop cut to stop right here. Control R a loop cut to push up here, and then. I, I'm going to change the three lines into one. Okay, so by join these two vertices, hit J, these two, hit J. Then that should be good. So what I will do next, hit number two to select the edges. Okay, these edges and these ones. And uh, I'm going to select out this one as well. So, okay, so and also these ones. Okay, hit the and uh, this one. Hit the X to dissolve the edges. So now I'm cleaning the, the edge, and now I have like a pretty nice stop right here and. Uh, if you want to make it, this looks a little bit prettier, it's not really a long stretch. So what I can do is select this vertices, hit double G to kind of drag it out. And we can even uh, getting all these vertices uh, to move upward as well. Okay, so double G to push it up. So now you can see this one has been beautifully fixed. Okay, so bottom part. And I believe this one, we can do a quick cut through, or you can just change, select that double G to slide over there, double G, slide over there. And because that, uh, this one, we're gonna hit the K key to let it cut through here. And then select this one, double G to slide over. And then what I will do next is select hit A to select everything else. Hit M key to merge by distance. So remove three vertices. That's the three vertices that I made uh, changes over here. Okay. So here we have see I see some issues down here because in the bottom part, we are just going to move down here. And this one is linked to there. Here's a a huge triangle. So hit the K key, and I'm just going to do a quick cut. Okay, hit enter, and then number two, select this edge, hit X, dissolve edges. So there are a lot of time that uh, you're dealing with the model, you, you're basically just trying to spend some time to fix uh, the geometries and make it look nice and prettier, and that's, uh, what we're going to do. That's the majority of the work that a, a good modeler is gonna spend time to do and get fixed. We're gonna do do a quick check, go to the select, and then we're gonna select the select by trade, face by slide, size. So now we're gonna change that to be the greater than four. So is there any faces that are greater than four, which is considered as ungong. So let's go to the face selection mode so that is the one face that we need to change, okay? Okay, let's see what's going on. So now, because of this, this is all the way to the back, so it's not a big of a deal, but it uh, seems like this thing has been an issue so far. So let's go down here, double G, grab it. Okay, double G to slide it over here. I just want to see the geometries. So double G, because this is a super uh, flat in the back, so it doesn't really matter about the shape and the flow that much. Uh, however, if we have something wrong with the shape, then we need to change that. So to do it again, Go to the face selection mode, select, uh, select by trays and the face by size. And the greater than four. So this one is a only one that we need to fix. Okay. So select that. 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's why. Um, let's see what we can do here. So because we need to have a good decent edge down here, and uh, this, and basically I think. I can simply just slide this one point to there to this okay and hit a everything else and hit M key to merge by distance so now I removed one vertices so let's see do the selection and then do the checking one more time so everything greater than four there's no ungong so I think we're pretty much done and in order to make it this thing looks a little bit prettier so I can just to select all these vertices and then go to the back view hit S X zero to kind of making sure they're all straight so that's good so Select these two, three double G to slide it over, then that should be good. Okay, so everything looks just fine. So I think we are okay with this shape. Okay, all right, so that is everything I want to share in this video. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.